Hi everyone, welcome to Zainert's Neat PG Information Series. We are happy to share with you that we have introduced the allotment mapping tool in Zainert a few days back. Usually while predicting or looking at shifts, we look at last year's closing ranks and add on factors that change this year and have an approximate prediction. This year with major changes, changes in the reservation policy, DNB inclusion, no rewards after all India round two, states uh, policy on in-service candidates, allotments, etc. It has become extremely difficult to predict closing ranks or shifts. In this case, what we manual, what we end up is manually mapping allotments candidate wise, and create uh, and trying to figure out the expected vacancies in your rank range to identify the expected shifts in that counseling. The allotment mapping tool helps you do that. It helps you in mapping allotments of each candidate in one particular counseling that you're looking at to any other counseling that the candidate may have participated in. So if you wish to look at analyze analyzing one particular counseling that you're going to participate and evaluate the chances of shifts or movements in that particular counseling's next round or subsequent round, this tool would make it easy for you. For instance, you select one particular counseling and this tool first will list down all the allotments in that particular counseling rank wise on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, against each candidate, basically against each rank that has been allotted, you will find all the allotments of that particular candidate in any other counseling till date. So this will give you a comparison between what candidate, what seat that the candidate holds in the particular counseling that you are looking at versus what options he has as on date in other counselings, has or had as on date. Now, this will also tell you whether you would have moved to possibly move to that another seat, creating a vacancy in your particular counselling. Or if he doesn't have an option at all, then he, is, he or she is holding that particular seat. Now, that is how this tool is going to help you. Before we get into this tool, three major factors that you need to consider before looking at data and using this tool. When you're looking at movement, usually a candidate uh, basically, when you're looking at movement, usually you map a candidate's data and try to manually map shifts. We are trying to, and you basically try to work a lot between counselings, work to take data from one counselling, map it against another, like basically it is all India and your state counsellings, your state government and your state management quota counsellings, etc. And try to work out between counsellings. This tool makes that easy for you. We are not predicting anything here, but for those who would Otherwise, use a pen and paper or Excel sheets and manually map uh, this data to try to figure out movements. We are trying to save your time here with the data that we provide. This is actual data that is being provided to you. No predictions are made. Second, all data is allotment info and not admitted seats. A candidate may have been allotted in a particular seat, and but whether, whether or not subsequently the candidate joined that seat, we don't have that info. This is only allotment. So keep this in mind when you're using the info from the mapping team, mapping tool. And third, especially while taking decisions where there is a finality in a counseling, for instance, there are two counselings and you are forced to choose only one seat, one, a seat in only one of these counselings. And when you choose that, the other counts, you will not be able to, let us say, participate in the other counselling because you haven't taken that seat. In such cases, please consider that a seat in hand is always better unless the risk you take leaving that seat gives you a far, far better seat. Basically, if the risk is for a far, far better seat and the downside of a risk is very, very low, then it makes sense to leave a seat and attend another counseling. But if the risk is far, is for an equivalent seat and the downside is huge, then it doesn't make sense to make a choice to leave a particular seat. Just keep that in mind. And with this data, don't assume that Candidate behavior will always be similar to what you think they will decide. The tool gives you data on allotment. It will not be able to confirm of candidates' decisions on allotments. Candidates' decisions and majorly the risk-taking behavior in the range of your preferred, of candidates in the range of your preferred seats play a major part. So please take cautious decisions. This is the first time All India mop-up is happening and state round two's uh, rewards are not happening. So please take a very cautious choice. This will give you data. Use data wisely. Uh, finally, very, very consciously, we have made this a one counseling to multiple counseling mapping that is relevant for you with filters that are relevant for you. We have not provided the option of checking for an entire rank range, listing out all counseling information, saying this in this rank range, all these seats have been allotted across all counselings. The idea is to be useful 
uh, rather try to save your time on what you would be otherwise doing on pen and paper or excel sheets we have been conscious not to give too much information that may may not be useful to you at all just to show that we have that information so we'll get into what uh, we will uh, uh, into the tool and how you can use the tool quickly it is uh, you just go to neat pg tab on top like you do and click on allotment mapping and you select the primary counseling that you want to uh, look at so this is the counseling that you want to check on the possibilities or what would happen etc let us say we look at to as an example i am choosing all india round one now before all india round two started let us say i am going to look at all india round uh, all india counseling and see what are the vacancies that may be expected in all india round one or look at all the candidates who have been allotted in all india round one and find out their allotments across other counselings. So on the left hand side, you will see all 18,218 allotments in all India. I will filter out, uh, let's say you're a candidate who is only looking at AAQ and you're looking at only a uh, particular, uh, you belong to gen category. I'll filter out AAQ and gen category. And you will see all the allotments of candidates on the left hand side in all India PG medical round one and a mapping against other counselings. Rank number one was allotted in IPG MER Till now, there's no other allotment in any other state round one for rank one. But if you look at rank number eight, the candidate was allotted in Lokmanya Tilak radio diagnosis and the candidate was allotted Sage GS radio diagnosis in Maharashtra PG state counseling in round one. This is what it says. And the candidate was ranked four in Maharashtra. So this is the information that you have. Now, my relevance comes in when I am looking at a course like MD. Let a specific course, let's say, like MD Pediatrics, I, and I want to look at all the movements in MD Pediatrics. So here, what do I have? I have candidates who have taken MD Pediatrics in uh, MAMC in All India Round 1, and the like, same candidate has taken MMC in uh, Madras Medical College in T in Garman Kota. So there may be a reason why this, they, there may be a shift of this candidate, and that may create a vacancy in MAMC is what I have understood. Today, you know the vacancies of All India Round 2, but at that time, when you did not know the vacancies, this would have been helpful, helpful to find out whether this candidate has shifted. But this also creates a doubt whether this candidate would actually move because this candidate would have already got a name, MMA, uh, Madras Medical College choice in All India Round 1. So you will have to look at those things before you evaluate whether this will be a vacancy or not. Now, this is how it is. You will ha have a complete, uh, complete list of pediatric seats, AAQ Gen pediatric seats. Now, let's say my relevance is, I'm, I'm at rank, rank 1,750, let's say, and my relevance is only all those seats that are in the rank range that I would get. So I'll filter it out on 800 to 1,800 and see all the pediatric seats that have been allotted in this rank range and what are the different, uh, what, uh, which, uh, what are the different seats that the candidates had in other counselings. So I can see that rank 866 had a, uh, was allotted a pediatric seat in All India Round 1. And the same candidate had filled in choices after All India Round 1 in two different counselings. And as the candidate has been allotted in two different counselings. Now, it is highly likely that this candidate would move to these seats and All India Round 1 seats become vacant. And I would know that there will be a shift right from rank 866 because of a vacancy that is created in this particular, particular seat. Now, you go down, you will be able to see all these choices that are listed down. In certain cases, candidates having two uh, options after in state round two. Now, please note that these are allotments. Please don't come back saying that these candidates are blocking seats, etc. Now, the candidate will be holding only one seat in hand. The candidate would be admitted to only one seat in hand. And this other seat in All India round one would have been vacant. So, this would stop at the time of All India Round 2, after which the candidate will for sure be holding only one hand and since documents need to be submitted. This, this is a possibility of holding multiple seats happens only till All India Round 2 starts or the joining deadline for All India Round 2. Beyond that, there is no possibility. And even now, there will be very, very minimal candidates holding two seats. So this does not give you admission admitted information. This just gives you allotted information. So you will have to decide possibly on which seat this is the candidate candidate would have moved to or whether the candidate would have moved at all or would be holding his all India his or her all India round one seat. In, in most cases, they would have moved because they made a better choice in state round one. Now, this is what you get. 
and then you can move on if you want to specifically look at institutes you will be able to filter out on institutes and see whether there are vacancies so a candidate has moved from chengalpattu medical college to a state chengalpattu medical college seat so it is highly likely that the candidate would is exploring options in state and the candidate would have taken the state seat and this all india seat would become vacant this is how you will look at data i will uh, you can filter it in case you want to look at only a particular counseling on the right hand side instead of looking at all counselings i am only interested in candidates having taken maharashtra state counseling you can filter out and see only those candidates who have taken maharashtra state counseling i am not interested in all the vacancies i only want the seats where there are dual allotments you just click on this you will have all the candidates who took pediatric seats from this rank range to this rank range in gen category under aaq in all india round 1 and their seats in maharashtra state council whoever has a seat in maharashtra state council so uh, i'll just take through and uh, if you if you already understood this then possibly you can end this video here but if you still want to know what other utility value may exist uh, i'll look at a scenario where a candidate would want to know what are the changes that happen in tamil nadu government quota in state round 2 so he goes to tamil nadu government quota pg medical round 1 looks at all the seats that have been allotted and then specifically the candidate thinks that major changes uh, there are there will be some movements between tamil nadu government quota and tamil nadu management quota so the candidate filters out at tamil nadu management quota and gets in the complete list of seats that have been allotted for candidates who have taken a seat in tamil nadu government quota in tamil nadu management quota now there are no seats so if i just take off the empty rows you will be able to see that at higher rank ranges from rank 329 onwards tamil nadu rank 329 onwards there have been seats allotted and so since the management quota counseling happened after tamil nadu government quota some of these seats at least would be movements to tamil nadu management quota that you can decide based on which seat and whether you think the candidate would move highly uh, likely that some scenarios you would see that it is a definite movement in some scenarios you may have to take a assumption on whether the candidate would move or not so uh, this is how this tool helps this tool helps in mapping any counseling against any council the entire set of all other counselings ideally after all india uh, round 2 or after state round 2 you would look at if you have multiple options to pursue then you will look at that particular counselling and see how many vacancies may be created in that particular counselling so if it is all in uh, if it is the same case of tamil nadu government quota uh, round 2 chances i will look at this particular uh, look at all the allotments of tamil nadu round 1 candidates in other counselings and try to figure out whether they would move or not in this scenario i'll know that all india pg is uh, had been first and so this candidate had made a choice later so i will not consider all india pg but when it comes to all india round 2 here if there's been an allotment in all india round 2 for a candidate then i would assume that the candidate had made a better choice and moved to all india round 2 whether or not the candidate takes the decision still is a question but make your assumption strongly only if there is uh, a too much a high benefit for less risk take a choice when there is a finality of counselings so uh, uh, this is how the tool helps you what we have provided is data which you would otherwise work on using your uh, printed sheets or excel sheets so uh, use it wisely we will be adding uh state uh adding institutes and course filter on the right side as well you will be able to filter on rounds to and counselings to as uh, like it is already there and we'll be adding the institute and uh, courses filter on the right side we are trying to get the state uh, filter added uh, that may help be helpful but i'm not sure whether it will happen so uh, i hope this tool helps you uh, this is something we have thought through a lot and uh, because we have done this a lot a lot of times for candidates to help them out make choices uh, and based on that experience we have put in all uh, our uh, thought process into it brainstorming for a long time uh, before getting into this tool in case there are any suggestions on improving this please do let us know what we uh, will not do is uh, though there is a rank range based filter it is within a particular counseling we will not be sharing a complete rank range based uh, allotment like 3000 to 4000 give me all the dual uh, allotments uh, etc which is uh, we don't think that is useful at all what may be useful is 
trying to figure out what happens in a particular council so all but still if you think that is or if there are any other suggestions please do let us know in the comment section and also share this with your uh, 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 with your friends or others for whom this may be helpful thanks a lot for watching and thanks a lot for uh, the tremendous response to sign up till now thank you